I'm being very careful with how I'm choosing my words because people are going to think, oh, want to quit Elite Dangerous. No, he didn't quit Elite Dangerous. He just can't play it. I can't play it. And I feel like my trust with the company has is, is, is diminished quite a bit. And I just can't play the game, period. So if you can't play the game, you can't play the game. This is a Obsidian Ant's video. Obsidian Ant put out a video talking about the state of play. Gosh, it's not looking good, man. I don't know the best way to, to kind of properly say this. You know, I've been going back and forth on how to do a video about this on YouTube. So I'm, I'm being careful with my words now. The game is in a bad state right now. With that being said, there's always recourses and contingency plans and roadmaps to get out of that state, right? So you you want to you want to come out of a a bad state. Elite Dangerous with Odyssey was taking a huge chance. You know, they 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 basically stopped developing the game for 2 years to do this, right? It took a huge gamble. The game is broken at the moment. It's just it's just broken. It's not it's not in a playable state by any means. Anyone who says otherwise is really just ignoring a lot. And you know, that's okay. You can you can have fun and ignore a lot, but those of us who know where the game should be and don't accept it for what it is, you know, are, are kind of getting tired of it. Obsidian Ant, who is arguably the most positive voice in Elite Dangerous history, if you if you check out his latest video, he and I are in a lot of in agreement on a lot of things, as always. We're in a lot of agreement on a lot of things, and I agree with him in that the game right now is in such a bad state that we don't know if it can recover. Because what they did is not necessarily like a lot of bugs or like a lot of crashes or anything or something like that. What they did is that they they kind of stepped on the player base's trust. The people who stood by them for years and years and years, who defended them when they were at their worst, who said, well, I will wait two years for this update because it should be good. Those of us who created content for many, many years, played the game for thousands of hours, dealt with all the issues, we were kind of, our trust was kind of betrayed. And that, I think that's why a lot of people, including myself, stopped playing. My, my reasons were technical. I had to rearrange my entire studio to play the game because it was that bad performance wise. When they told us that they weren't going to really do any kind of patches for performance and that we would have to wait until the console release, which is not going to be to the end of this year. I essentially said, well, I guess I'm not playing to the end of this year. That was my attitude. It wasn't it wasn't like a, a malice or a negative thing. It was just practical. I can't stream the game without hooking up extra machines and taking stuff out of their place and, and you know, doing weird things. And uh, they're saying they're basically not going to address that until the end of the year. So I said, well, I guess I can't play because if I can't stream, why play? You know how we are with streamers. So it didn't really it didn't feel really good to hear that. And I think a lot of players, including myself, who were sticking up for Frontier, kind of took a step back and was like, wow. So it's like that. So that, I, I, I love Frontier, man. I love the community. I love the community team. I love everybody I've interfaced with. They're, they're great people. But holy crap, this game, if it ain't in a fiery fireball, just just crashing and burning right now. And I think I think it was S'mores said that someone in Star Citizen separated called themselves an elite dangerous refugee. You know, we used to make jokes about Star Citizen being unstable. The, 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 ter the turns have tabled. Yes. The turns have tabled, chat. It's now reversed. Somebody played their Uno reverse card and the turns have tabled. And I, I know several people that are playing, they're playing Horizons because they can't, they can't even play Odyssey. And that's the way I feel. It's like, if I told my wife this the other day, I was like, if I'm playing Elite, I'm not even going to bother with Odyssey. I'm just going to go into Horizons and do like Operation Ida or do some trading or do the things that I used to love. But all the new stuff is just completely unplayable for me. Obsidian Ant came out with this video and basically echoed the same thing. And like I said, he is the, the positive voice in Elite Dangerous. It's like if he is saying negative things or even remotely unpleasant things, then things are really, really bad. Because when, when Elite was at his worst, Obsidian Ant was putting out content like crazy and was being very positive about it. Now he's basically staying, saying the exact words I'm saying. I don't know if they can recover from this. They've lost the trust of the player base. All the promises that they're making were just like, so what? Like, we'll fix this. So what? We'll, we'll revamp power play. So I don't care about power play if I can't play the game. I'm being very careful with how I'm choosing my words because people are going to think, oh, want to quit Elite Dangerous. No, he didn't quit Elite Dangerous. He just can't play it. I can't play it. And I feel like my trust with the company has is, is, is diminished quite a bit. And I just can't play the game, period. So if you can't play the game, you can't play the game. And it seems like they don't care. Because if you look at their roadmap, a lot of their fixes were UI and cosmetic 
and UI flow issues, which to me are lower priority. That's the low hanging fruit stuff. You know, to me, that stuff is low priority to, to put a button here and, and to show this button here and do it. No, that's really low priority if people can't play your game. It, it was it, it's, it's pretty bad, man. It, it's actually pretty bad. It breaks my heart because this is my top play game, my top stream game. If you look at my Twitch stats, since they've been tracking them on like Sully Gnome or other stat sites, this is my number one streamed game. It, it trumps Minecraft. It trumps Marvel Heroes. It trumps them all. I have streamed Elite Dangerous more than any other game that I've streamed. So this hurts that I have to stop. I think people think I'm, I, I hate the game, but I'm like, if you look at how much I've played it and streamed it, that's not an indication of something I hate. That's actually something that I actually really love. And I was really looking forward to Odyssey because I'm an FPS player. You guys know me. I play Battlefield. I play COD. I play, you know, shooters all over the place. So I was looking for that merge of two things that I love and I just, the game was unplayable. So I don't know if what Frontier is going to do. Like they went from breaking Steam records to now the player base is in revolt. The forums are a mess. All the, all the creators that I know personally, not, not, not all the creators, but the creators that I know personally have really taken a step back from Elite Dangerous. They're taking a step back. Some of them went to Final Fantasy. Some of them, some of them already had gone to Star Citizen. They just went back to Star Citizen. Some went to No Man's Sky. And others just, you know, went to whatever passion they were involved with. I'm not saying there's like a great migration or players are leaving the game in droves, but I think my 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 takeaway statement is that the game is at its all time low. It has never been this bad. It has never ever ever been this bad. And uh, it's really hard to blame one thing. It's a it's like a conglomeration of a bunch of things. And for me, the straw that broke the camel's back was their roadmap. When they said, okay, we're going to do this, 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 and this, and this. Expect no more updates until the console release. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm not playing. So yeah, there's that. 